too. I'm excited to get into it. As I said earlier, we've got a couple of national champions on on the uh, on the show today. And let's start off with it. Jaquez Ezzard, Sam Houston State, wide receiver and especially punt return specialist. Let's bring him on here. Jaquez, how are you doing today, man? I'm good, man. Thank y'all for having me on, man. How y'all doing? Doing great, man. Jaquez, you out there training already, man? Yes, sir. This is my, this is my first day. I just touched down. I drove. I think nine and a half hours from Atlanta to get down here, man. Trying to get that work in. <laughs> where, where are you at? It looks beautiful. I'm in, um, I'm somewhere in, I think it's Broward. I don't know what kind of, well, I'm, I'm in Florida somewhere. <laughs> That's all right, man. At least it's sunny out there, man. It's like eight degrees here in Kansas City. So <laughs> I, I'm already envious of the scenery you got there. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, hey, Jaquez, man, talk to us a little bit about your story. Alert our audience about you, man. Obviously, last two years you've been down Sam Houston. You started out at Howard coming out of Georgia. Talk to us a little bit about you starting up at Howard and then why you made the track on down Sam Houston. Yeah, man, I want to thank Howard for, you know, giving me the opportunity, you know, taking that chance on me. Everybody overlooked me and they gave me that chance when I graduated high school to come and play ball there. Um, had a little setback, twenty seven, um, sixteen, um, but came back when um, Mike London Senior came, became the head coach there. You know they um, they took a chance on me, gave me an opportunity, um, put me in the offense, a whole new offense, some offense I ain't never been in before. Um, we threw a ball around a lot. Um, you know I was I was able to be a big contributor in that offense, and um, you know uh, when they left, you know new coaching staff came in. That was my third coaching staff change that um that I had experienced at Howard, um, it wasn't a fit for me, you know. Um, so I decided to uh, take that red shirt and um, bet on myself and take a um, grad transfer year to um, Sam Houston. Um, I didn't I didn't know about Sam Houston before I transferred there. You know, I had to talk to some people about it or whatever. It's a great program. Um, I appreciate the coaching staff and the um, Bearcat community for allowing me to, uh, you know, take part in that in that run we had, 21 wins um, straight, you know, from January, from February to December. National championship win. It's just a great experience, man. I'm, I'm I'm proud to be where I'm at now. No, that's great, man. I was telling Lorenz and Vaughn here that, uh, you know, the thing I appreciate the most about you as a player, I think you have more one-on-one make-miss ability than any other player in this year's draft class. With, with you, you get the ball in space, man, whether it's on a punt return, whether it's on a bubble screen, whether it's – you know, you, you run a drag across the field, man. The, the, you can take the ball and all the way to the house on any play. What is it about your game, man? Like, where'd you learn some of that? I mean, did you, did you grow up and were you always like that, man? Is that something that uh, that, that you worked on? Man, tell us about that a little bit, about you, kind of the strong points of your game. Well, when I was younger, um, I used to play this game called throw them up, bust them up in the backyard. Um, and, and the objective was you got to make a man miss or you're going to get hit. So I guess the instincts come from – you know, playing out there in the backyard with the older guys, you know, just out there making moves and stuff. And I guess it just carried over into, like, into today. Into day. Um, you know, I just go out there, I try to get a good feel of the game, um, see what's going on, see who, who playing aggressive, see who doing this, see who doing that. And I just try to make my magic off of that, man. Fellas, man, I'm back on the show. Quares, man, quick thing, man. Uh, obviously, man, I see that you're talented uh, in space with the ball in your hand. But as an undersized guy myself, Dane, other scouts, teams, uh, they're going to beat you up, man. Tell us about, from a toughness aspect, from a mental toughness and physical toughness, what you got to do in order to survive as a big, as a little receiver, and then what type of versatility that you have? Oh, uh, man, to survive, they got to have that mentality, man. Um, you're going to take some shots. When I went to Sam, that's the most I ever got hit. Um, I don't think I ever got hit that much at Sam. And I, and I did experience them, them bang-ups on my body and stuff. But, you know, that treatment, that ice bath, that extra stem, the extra weight room, all that stuff help you maintain for, for a tough season. Versatility, man, just I can do it all, man, whatever you need. Just throw me on the field and watch go to work, man. And Jaquez, the NFLPA Bowl, it's just a couple weeks away here. What is one thing that you really want to prove to the to all the scouts and NFL personnel that are going to be out there for the event? More than prove to them, I want to prove to myself that I can handle um, the doubters and what they saying. You know, they never took a chance on me. They always put me as the as the small guy, slow, 
whatever they got to say. You know what I'm saying? Uh, prove to myself that, you know what I'm saying, it's football, man. Um, I don't care what school they come from. I don't care what they stars was in high school. I don't care about that, man. You gotta, you gotta suit up and you gotta, you gotta play ball at the end of the day. So, prove to myself that I can, you know, I can stand out there up with them guys. You know what I'm saying? Because it ain't no difference, man. We all bleed. We all, man. We all human. Just show them, show myself that I can, that I can play out there with them guys. Absolutely. Question, man. Jaquez, what's your biggest matchup that, that, that when you go up against a DB, what do you try to do? What's your mentality when you go line up on the line of scrimmage? Win at all costs. Um, like I said, when I got to Sam Houston, that was the first time I really experienced press coverage. Um, so I didn't really struggle because my quickness allows me to, you know, beat a lot of guys off the line. But, um, man, coverage um, – I just got to, you know, I come up with a plan depending on the route. Um, if I'm going to beat them inside, outside. And then, you know, I just try to win at the top, take them up top if I got to. Whatever I got to do, I just got to win the route. You know, hey, you know what? You do a ton of winning. We love watching this highlight tape they got rolling here, man. I think you're showing the people a lot of those skills that we saw when we were evaluating you as a player the last couple of years. Where are you weighing at these days, Jaquez? Because obviously, as Vaughn alluded, you're, you're shorter statured. However, you're thicker built in the lower body, and you get a lot of your power, a lot of your strength in your lower body. What are you going to weigh in next uh, in a couple weeks here when we gonna get on out to L.A.? Probably about 195. Ron, that way I'm trying to stay. I feel good right here. Good, man. Good. Well, man, Quiz, man, we're excited about the chance to get you out, man. You've already proved to doubters that you can go from an HBCU to – uh, a different program, go to an FCS program, go to Sam Houston and still produce just like you did at Howard. And that mentality, that competitiveness that you talk about is something that myself being a small DB or a small uh, athlete, I mean, you're going you're gonna to experience these doubters. So as long as you're competitive in the game, as long as you're competitive throughout practice, and as long as you see, just like you say, man, we all bleed the same. So it's a matter of showing up every day. Uh, tell us a little bit about you outside of ball, man. What does Quiz like to do outside of ball? That way, the scouts, man, get to know Quiz. Uh, me, I'm I'm real laid back. I don't like to get into nothing. I'm introverted. Um, I like my peace and quiet. You know what I'm saying? Especially like after a super long day. Um, I spend a lot of time with my with my girl. Um, you know, I just came from up there spending the holidays with her. Uh, we talk on the phone a lot and stuff like that. But besides that, I don't party. I don't really hang out. I just that ain't just that just ain't my thing, man. I'm just real laid back, real focused on what I gotta do, what I gotta handle, take care of my business, and get the job done. Jaquest, thanks so much for making the show to the show with us today. Do you have any parting shots? Anything the audience, the viewers need to know uh, before we let you go here? Nah, man. Shout out to Sam Houston. Shout out to that community. Shout out to Howard. Shout out to College Park. Uh, you know that's what we do, man. Let's do it. Oh, <laughs>